in Manhattan. Oh, my. To the gym now, former UConn player and dunking viral sensation. This is Quinton Williams showing off the hang time. Which is right, man, this looks doctored up. I don't think it's doctor. I don't. See, you, you went to some UConn basketball games. You used to live oh, in absolutely. Yeah, I lived in Connecticut nine exactly. years. I was right next to the XL Center downtown. So I, I, I walked less than 100 yards. you have yards. a lot of Quentin Williams memories? No, nope, don't remember him. He is definitely a dunker, not a basketball yeah. player, people. He oh. is a dunker. Canadian viral dunk sensation Jordan Kilgana. We've seen a lot of him the last couple of days. He's Back inventing new dunks, which I respect. I've never seen this one. He's going windmill to the other side of the rim and then alley-oop to himself during the dunk. I mean, I know there's no other TV show repping this dude like us. Yeah, Jordan Kilganon. Is it? Um, Jimmy, do you have an influence on that because he's not wearing a shirt? Very much appreciate that he's not wearing a shirt, but no, I sadly do not. Uh, we'll get him back in the show every day moving forward. Time for In or Out, starting with the U.S. Open. Coverage tees off at 12.30 Eastern on FS1. All lives will be on Tiger Woods, who begins his quest for a 16th major. Tune in 5.09 p.m. to see him on hole number one. CC, you in or out on Tiger finishing top three at Pebble Beach this weekend? I'm in, Jenna. This U.S. Open, the length of the golf course is not the traditional monster, shorter course. Tiger, can he get his ball in the fairway? The guys that are going to fairway at, 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 at Pebble Beach are the guys that drive the ball left to right. It's easier to hit the fairway. It's designed that way, and you must be accurate. These greens are really small. Tiger, I'm in. I'm in as well. I'll go a step further than top three, top two. Tiger and Brooks Kepka on Sunday. Kepka going Ooh. for his third straight U.S. Open. Tiger going for his 16th major. That's what I think we're going to have in store for us. That's what we're going to be watching. That would be a ratings bonanza, by the way. I'm in. Tiger Woods, top three of the U.S. Open. Lock it in. I like it. All right, moving on to some hoops. Kevin Durant underwent surgery yesterday to repair his ruptured Achilles. With KD potentially on the shelf for a year, his free agency future with the Knicks could be up in the air. Nick, you win or out on the Knicks still pursuing KD this offseason? I'm absolutely in. If there were no player max salaries, you'd be offered Kevin Durant $65 million a year. So even if you realize you're going to have to pay him for four to get potentially only three years of work, it's still a bargain, assuming Kevin Durant recovers from the injury the way we hope he will. And the Knicks have built their entire last couple years towards this moment. They're not going to jump, panic and jump off the exit ramp now. I'm absolutely still in on them pursuing him, and I think he's going to end up here. There is nothing more that I can guarantee you than the New York Knicks pursuing Kevin Durant. And this is just not my opinion. I do have valid sources that tell me that nothing has changed. I talked to people in the last 12 hours. They say that nothing has changed. They're watching the surgery, thought it was successful, but the Knicks are in. And it's important that they convince Kevin Durant to sign so that he can convince that other free agent to come and have some patience. All right, good. Another superstar expected to be on the move is Anthony Davis. The Lakers are reportedly ready to offer Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, and the number four pick. But say, Cal Kuzma is off the table. Nick, you in or out on the Lakers going all in for AD? I'm absolutely in. I know they think that, oh, we're bidding against ourselves. Maybe we can hold on to Kuz. Listen, if, you, if you're in the market for a house and you find one you love, don't risk losing it over a little minor negotiation. The only way the Lakers compete for a championship immediately next year, or the best way is Anthony Davis. Don't let Kyle Kuzma come in the way of that. Yeah, you'd like to keep him, but if David Griffin and the Pelicans are going to hold your feet to the fire, you you got to give up your leverage and get the player. They would have two of the top six players in the world if they were to consummate that trade, and they'd go into next season maybe as the favorites to win a championship, whatever it takes for Anthony Davis. Yeah, I don't believe they should go all out, so I have to be out, and the reason why is because they're bidding against themselves. The Celtics can't make a great offer. The reason why, because Kyrie Irving is not going to be AD's not going to extend, give them the ability to extend him. New York Knicks, they're not going to get into it because AD is not going to give them the ability to sign the long-term deal. The Lakers are the only team that AD and his agent have agreed that they would sign a long-term contract with and potentially would do it immediately. They haven't admitted that yet, but that's just a matter of once he gets there, oh, he will sign that extension. All right, let's end with tonight's game six. Kawhi and company looking to capture the Raptors' first ever NBA title, but find themselves underdogs on the road against the Warriors. CC, 
You in or out on the Raptors winning a title tonight? I'm going to be in on this one, Jenna, and we might have to call old Johnny and put a little wager in on this one. <laughs> okay. oh, I believe that the Raptors have been the better team. They've been the best. They beat the Milwaukee Bucks, which were going to be the best team in the NBA. 60 wins with the MVP from an 0-2 deficit. Came back from the Philly series. Came back in the Magic series. Yes, they get it done, and they went bring their first championship to Canada. I'm afraid to call Johnny on this one because I this has been Don't the hardest do it, pick. I, well, I mean, Don't it could be it. the last NBA game of the year. You think I'm not going to gamble on it? I'm give me a break. I'm going to. I'm going to end up. All right, I'm in. I, I say this with minor conviction. I'm terrified of what the Warriors are going to unveil in that first quarter tonight. But if the Raptors can weather that storm, they are the better team. They are the healthier team. They are the deeper team. And they should be the champions mm -hmm. in about 14 hours. I'm in, but with major trepidation. Don't they teach you in gambling school, scared money don't win? Didn't I know, it? man, and I need to win big tonight because once the season's over, the total bill comes due. So I... I all right, I'm totally in. In fact, I think we're going to bet big on it. I don't know what okay. I'm going to do. God, you're the right. worst. God. You're the worst gambler ever. This is ever. stressful, man. Young I gamblers had, out there. I had, the, this guy. I had the Raptors on the, the money line on it, Lowry's Hedge. a lot of money, man. Hedge, Nick. That's not the biggest gamble you've made. That hair thing you oh, did. Call it up. Steve first. Hey, hey, don't Kevin do it, Durant's man. Kevin Durant's injury. Sit down, man. No, no man. First things first. And oh, see, I need to borrow some money. standing up. Why are you oh, scared? go ahead. Let's go with well, my go best on self. With, go on with your best self. <laughs> <laughs> I told her that too.